Good morning, everybody. Day 116. Uh, stops just dropped me off back at Reed's Gap. And actually drove us to a gas station this morning, too, so we could get some breakfast sandwiches. We're delicious. And so it doesn't look like I'm going to see stops again for like 38 miles, I think it is. 30, yeah, I think it's 38 miles. U.S. Route 60. Um, so I'm going to try to split that up in two days. Do 18 or 20 miles today, but we'll see. It's like 9 a.m., so kind of a late start, but I've got nothing to do today but walk, so it shouldn't be that big of a problem. But we do have, we're going to finish off the climb up three ridges and then drop down to Thai River and up the Priest. And then after that, we're just going to be riding that ridge, Priest Ridge, for a while. Um, so, yeah. Um, Two days, U.S. Route 60, where I will meet stops again, go into probably Buena Vista or Lexington, and grab some more resupply, and then who knows? <laughs> I'm not even planning out today, let alone two days from now. Oh, and Devil's Backbone Brewery last night was actually pretty quiet for a Friday night at the campground, so no complaints there either. Hmm, and I'm out of things to say, so I'm done rambling. And I hope you guys have a great, great day. And I'll touch back with the cool stuff and the views. You know, <laughs> just like I do, baby. So let's get up to the top of three ridges and get those views. And then drop down the Thai River to get this cool suspension bridge. I love that bridge. And then up the Priest. Well, let's get with it. <laughs> I had no idea you could drive up to Mount Pin Shelter. I mean, they're, they're trail crews, so they're doing some trail maintenance, but I had no idea you could drive a vehicle up in there. Maybe you gotta be like, have a key to a gate or something, because I've never ever seen vehicles up here. It's kinda nice. And they asked me if there was a couple of blowdowns that way. I was like, yeah, there is a couple. So there's a big saw, like six foot long, like push pull saw, pretty awesome. So huge shout out to them guys for, uh, coming out here and doing trail maintenance. Almost wonder if they stayed here last night. Cause I was gonna push up here, but I'm kinda glad I didn't now. Although, it'll be cool to see around and talk to them guys. Anyway, look where we're going. Three Ridges Wilderness. Oh yeah. Check it out, this is what we're gonna be doing. Three ridges, we're gonna ride this ridge down, down to the Thai River in the road, up the Priest. Yeah, hanging rock overlook. It's beautiful. I can't wait to do this. All righty. We are at the summit of three ridges. Not much of a view up here. There's a little view spot over here a little bit and we got chimney rock about a mile and a half and then there's a couple more view spots on the way down but as far as views at the top of uh, three ridges there's no views up here we could go off to the side there but it's not like 
Woo, you know. <laughs> Ooh, pick up your feet, pretty. But if you do tote your water up here, a good camp right here. Boom. Five point eight. That's where the Thai River is. And the cool suspension bridge. So I was just told that on these switchbacks we're coming down. In one of the switchbacks, there's a ground hornet's nest that's been stinging everybody. So that's not cool. I think I should just get my sunglasses on, put my hood up, pull my socks up. And maybe just like jog this next section. Because <laughs> my luck, I'm going to get hit by these damn bees. I always get stung every year, it seems like. Sometimes multiple times every year. I'm all sketched out. <laughs> Can't stop staring at the ground. Because they'll attack you. They don't mess around. So apparently I got by the bees without them even knowing I was there. I think it was just a little too cold for them to be popping out. But later on today, I bet they're gonna be active. <laughs> Yeah, this is a cool little ridge walk too. There's not really any the camera, you can't see through the trees. That's where we just came from up there. Yeah, you see the problem with the phone and cameras are they try to focus on stuff close. So it's focusing on me or the leaves and not way out there. Yeah, we're on the downside now. That's good. Get down to the Thai River, take a little break. Climb up the priest. I think I'm gonna go back to the shelter and read some of those shelter logs for you guys because it's a pretty funny log book. But that's like 10 miles away. So <laughs> we've got to get there first. Good shot of the priest. <laughs> so I got to this, this overlook here. <laughs> Joe Bradley and his dog Shadow were here. It's pretty awesome. Uh, yeah, I think he's parked down the Thai River. So four miles away, down by the Thai River is where it's parked. <laughs> and I'm repeating myself. Anyway, we're gonna hike down there together and then I'll start climbing the priest. And he might circle around. He's got his bicycle too, I think. So he can get to certain roads where a vehicle can't. We'll see what happens, but always good to see Joe Bradley out here. He always surprises me in the weirdest spots where you never expect to see him. <laughs> when he shows up, which is awesome. His hawk hunting skills are very good. <laughs> they are. Ha 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 Oh, 
<laughs> what's happening everybody so we're uh we dropped down a little shelter there on the way out of three ridges and now we're climbing up this, this little bump <laughs> and you're never gonna believe it ellen and don hst members i met them last year at the 600 mile mark um yeah, wherever that's at past damascus i think it was route 628 to be honest i'm not sure over by brushy mountain outpost yeah somewhere over by there anyway they're out here doing a section out and back and bumped right into me and they actually hooked me up with some cash to get some lunch somewhere so thank you ellen and don always great seeing you guys so cool <laughs> it's like the habitual and repeat offenders it's, as soon as i see them on trail i'm like i know you guys <laughs> so cool all right let's climb up to there's a little sign up here that says marhar trail or you can like take a shortcut if you don't want to climb three ridges that's a whole nother story um but after we hit the marhar trail boom drop down the Thai river so yeah i just want to let everybody know that today is turning out to be hst craziness with Joe Bradley and Don and Ellen and who knows who else we'll see today. <laughs> so awesome. I'll throw their picture in here right now. Oh yeah, the Thai River Suspension Bridge. <laughs> I love this thing. Oh, let me back up and take a picture. There we go. <laughs> this thing's pretty stiff though. It doesn't really shake much. We'll get out in the middle and see what we can do. Shadow swimming. <laughs> I heard that. <laughs> this is a dog fight. You're beautiful. So pretty. Sun dot. I wish I could. I need like a shadow, like a visor over my camera. Nice. Well, here's the road right after the Thai River. Look at this. You gotta love rolling into the parking lot. Seeing one of those bad boys. So that's, I saw him on the way down. He had a white dog, uh, which got in a scuffle with Joe's dog. So, always neat seeing HST stickers. I'm pretty sure there's one on this vehicle too. Oh, wait. Two in one parking lot. <laughs> All right, so I just left the road, the parking lot where Tallis, HST member, his name's Kevin, but his trail name's Tallis. <laughs> and Joe Bradley were there. And I've drank so many monster drinks today that I'm surprised I'm not running up this trail. Oh, well, now I gotta let him settle a little bit because, well, ah, look where we're at. So now we're gonna climb the priest, which is like a good climb, <laughs> especially going south down. It's like, whoo, for a while. But we'll get up the top of that thing and then we will get some water somewhere 
and we're gonna find a stealth site up on that ridge. That's the plan. Thank you, HST, for everything. And now I'm all jacked up, and I gotta climb, so I'm gonna try to like slow my roll so I don't explode my heart out of my chest. So I'm like a mile into my climb up the priest. I just got stung by a bee in the hand. <laughs> Crazy. Almost everybody I've talked to today said they've been stung. The bees are active today. Right in the hand and this finger. Quick little guy too. Alright, let's keep climbing. Hopefully, we can avoid the bees. Top of the priest. It's called the ledges. I've camped up here before. And I would camp up here again, but I don't have no water. I gotta go down to the shelter and get some water. Whew. Good climb up here. This is so pretty. All right. So I'm way past the Priest Mountain Wing 2 shelter. I got up to the view right before that, the cliffs. And Joe Bradley was there. Yeah, I don't know how he got down that road. After you come down the back side of the priest, there's a road down there. And like a looks like you'd have to have a four-wheel drive truck. But he got a Subaru back in there. And that's where he's camping at night. Uh, so I didn't have to go down the shelter because we're gonna walk right by his vehicle. So I got water off him. And now I'm moving on. I'm about, I don't know, a mile away from Spy Rock. And it's a Saturday. That place is gonna be slam packed with day hikers you camping up there tonight so i'm gonna either stop a little short or just go right past it we will see time will tell it's already getting like it's probably almost 5 40 in the afternoon so to be honest i'm just about done walking but i gotta find a a sweet spot you know the sweet spot <laughs> it's tricky to find. I think I'm too picky for my own good. What's happening, everybody? End of the day recap, day 116. We left Reed's Gap at 845.2. And we're now sitting at Porter's Gap, 824.2. Makes it a 21 mile day, everybody. And today was actually very, very beautiful. Um, it was kind of busy on trail today, but what do you expect Saturday in this area? Of course it's gonna be. And I gotta give a huge, huge shout out to all the HST members today. It was wild. So it started out with stops this morning. Uh, give me a ride to trail. Then Joe Bradley was up there on Chimney Rock with a bunch of like monster drinks, snacks, all kinds of stuff. And then we saw Ellen and Don. Um, they actually hooked me up with some cash. Oh, 
Joe Bradley actually hooked me up with some cash too. And his wife, Barbara, made some great, great brownies. Thank you for that, Barbara. And then uh, Tallis, uh, he was down at the parking lot too there at Ty River. So it was great seeing everybody, all them people again. Habitual offenders. I love it. Um, and it leaves me like 15 or 16 miles to get to Route 60 where stops should be there tomorrow. Um, yeah. And other than that, great, great day. I didn't go up to Spy Rock because there was a ton of people there and I was trying to get to this gap before it got dark so I could get set up. And I was able to get set up and cook dinner and then boom, darkness. <laughs> but yeah, that's a wrap on the day, everybody. Day 116, 21 miles. And I hope you guys had a great, great day. And I'll touch back with you guys in the morning, baby.